All right, we went ahead and uh, shot a second coat of primer on there, and uh, it seems to adhere pretty good. So we're happy with that, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put the color to it, and uh, we'll come right back as soon as we're set up. All right, we're all set up here to get some color on it, so we'll go ahead and do that. Last corner here. So you got pretty good coverage on it. Here's a little closer up of a uh, prior to baking. This is just the powder coat laid on there dry. It uh, the Harbor Freight um, powder coat system does pretty good. 
gets pretty good coverage. Like I said, we're using Eastwood powder, which is fairly inexpensive and uh, seems to do a pretty good job. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this uh, put in the oven. Um, like I said earlier, it goes in at uh, 450 degrees for this particular paint um, until the until the powder coat starts to liquefy, and then you uh, set it for 20 minutes after that. And uh, once it's done with that, you shut it off, let it cool, and and then uh, it should be all set up for you. But uh, we'll go ahead and throw it in the oven, and uh, we'll come back after it's done. All right, there she is. After uh, we went ahead and got her uh, powder coated with the color on there. Uh, it's been baked. It's all set. That was a pretty good. Uh, pretty good job and uh... Yeah, it turns out fairly well so yeah. say for what it is for a Harbor Freight tool you know I got some good shit and some stuff you should stay far away from but uh... this particular one does a fairly good job and uh... So yeah, I'm happy with it. It's not perfect, but it, it'll do. And uh, come to the back side here. Lighting ain't the greatest, but but uh, yeah, turned out pretty good. So keep an eye out and. Uh, I'll have a video of putting these on the engine and uh, you can check them out see how they look when they're installed so but that's the finished product there and uh, they turned out fairly good so alright thanks for watching